Hello, this is Stella Onsins from UAB again. The short video that you are about to see is an explanation about the main differences between verbatim and sensatim subtitles in real-time working context. Carlo Gianni is a parliamentary life subtitler at the Rome capital and he teaches audiovisual translation and conference interpreting at several Italian and European universities. I hope you will enjoy it. Well, yes, uh, verbatim subtitling is something that is uh, quite well known. It is a word-for-word -word rendition of what is said by the speaker. Sensatim is idea unit for idea unit, meaning that people, uh, real subtitlers, um, produce uh, the same idea unit, which means uh, that you can either repeat word for word what is said, and by doing so, you uh, provide the same uh, idea unit, but at the same time, you can compress, you can reduce, uh, you can use other words, uh, and by doing so, you uh, keep uh, delivering the same message, uh, though not everybody agrees on that. Uh, but this approach, the sensitive approach, allows um, subtitlers to um, rely on more elastic uh, strategies to provide the same sentence, the same meaning provided by the speaker. Uh, here at the Rome City Council, I am a subtitler. I'm not a reporter. Reporters would go word for word, uh, so verbatim. Um, in the case of subtitling, I provide access to uh, what is said um, on two lines. And this means that people uh, have to read uh, two lines, and by doing so, they access the, uh, the city council meeting. Um, this makes a huge difference. So I prefer going for sensatim. I have the freedom of choosing uh, verbatim and sensatim. There are moments where verbatim is easier. For example, in the most technical parts, I don't dare to sum up because there are uh, uh, topics maybe very difficult to, um, to, uh, to, to sum up. Uh, in other cases, when politicians uh, um, give um, political advice and don't enter into details, uh, I prefer using a sensitive approach because there is a lot of orality in what they, in what they say because they haven't planned their speech. So it's better to, for me at least, to provide uh, subtitles that are easier to read. Same uh, layout is provided for for both verbatim and sensatim subtitles. Um, what happens is that when I do verbatim, um, the uh, the layout of subtitle uh, of subtitles depend on um, how quick the speaker is. So if the speaker is particularly quick words appear as blocks because I'm able uh, in don't know two seconds to produce a whole sentence. But if the speaker is slow, I repeat every single word and then words appear one after the other. Uh, and the method uh, is the scrolling one. Uh, in the case of sensatim, it is easier to produce full sentences so uh, uh, subtitles appear as blocks, but this is not a rule. Huh? Uh, in case of uh, people being very, very quick, you can also have block subtitles for so pop on subtitles uh, being verbatim. <laughs> LTA, Live Text Access, Universiteit Autonoma de Barcelona, SDI, Internationale Hochschule, Scuola Superiore per Mediatori Linguistici, ZDF, Digital, European Federation of Hard of Hearing People, FO, Velotype, 
sub T axis. European Certification and Qualification Association ECQA. Co funded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. Erasmus Plus project 2018-1-DE01-KA203-004210. The information and views set on this presentation are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official opinion of the European Union. Neither the European Union institutions and bodies nor any person acting on their behalf may be held responsible for the use which may be made of the information contained here.